Hi, I'm going to show you how to build a sprite or a sprite. It's actually quite simple. First, we need to go to the GitHub releases page of a sprite. The link will be in the description. You can either download the beta version 1.3 or the stable version 1.2. Depending what you choose, you need to download the source.zip file. Save that. And once it's downloaded, go to the folder where it's downloaded to. I will cut this away from here. Then I guess I will go into C and create a new folder as bright. And then paste the source over here we can extract this and now we have the source code of a sprite we need to build this source code so we can get an executable in order to build a sprite we need what is called cmake you can get cmake from this page cmake download i also put this link into the description and you can either download the zip file or the installer for windows i will be downloading the installer if you like what i do consider tuning into my twitch i stream at 10 a.m central eastern time which is 1 a.m pacific daytime if you want to directly support me you can do so via patreon this will give me more time to work on my game cakes today and you will get reading access to the github repository patreons will also be called out at the end of every video subscribing and leaving a like also helps a lot thank you very much for your support once finished downloading we can start the executable press next on the first page accept the license agreement and then in this page we need to make sure that cmake is added to the path for all users or for the current user you decide the cmake is an executable that we need to call in the command line you will see soon what that means you need to either add it to all users or or the current user and then next change the path to whatever you want i leave the default and install once that is finished i wanted to quickly show you where you can reference the documentation if you have any problems i will put this link into the description as well you can find the documentation on how to build a sprite here for example on windows we need visual studio community 2019 possibly 2022 works as well and when we have installed that we need the windows sdk 10.0 so we need to install visual studio community next go to downloads visual studio i will put that link into the description as well go over here to community free download and for me it never starts so I'll click here to retry and save the file after the file has been saved we open that and you are left with this window continue and once this is open it will show you what you can install for the visual studio community and the only thing you need is the desktop environment the windows 10 sdk so you don't need the intellicode the address sanitizer and the profiler tools you don't need those you can use them but the only thing you need is this i guess i'll keep the profiler and then you install for anyone that wants to follow the building process exclusively or wants to have an older version of visual studio i will provide this download link in the description where you can download the older versions of visual studio like 2019 2017 because this will help you later in the building process since you do not have to change paths but we'll get to that looking at the dependencies for a sprite we also need what is called a ninja build system so we need to get that too i put the link as well in the description we want the windows.zip file download that open the zip file and in here we'll we will have a ninja.exe this file i will put this in c by creating new folder ninja opening that folder and just drag and dropping it in here so now we have ninja not sure what that does but we need it and we need to make sure that our environment variables point towards the ninja executable so we open the system environment variables down here in the system variables not up here but down here you could also add it here only for the user but i like to add the system wide so down here scroll to path double click that and down here you need to make sure that you have this path in here c ninja we need to point towards the executable press ok press ok here and we should have ninja in our path quick check open cmd and do ninja ninja error you should get this and we need one more thing looking at the dependencies we need the skia library the skia library is also a git repository a project that we need and so i will put this link in the description as well download skia windows release 64 and then once it's done open the folder and we need to take all of these and i put them in c create a new folder here and this is a weird name it's called de ps depths open that folder create a new folder skia and then drag and drop all of these in here the reason why i use depths skia is because further below where it gets to compiling actually on the guide in the windows details section if you look at the cmake command that we use it uses the path c depths skia so i just reproduced that path in order to just copy and paste later on by now the installer should have finished we can go back to our a sprite folder and click in the path up here and type in cmd to bring up the command line in here we create a new folder mkdir build and then we change directory into build in build what we need to do depending on which version of visual community you installed you need to call the vs dev environment bat file this will initialize the compiler that we need in order to build every c program and a sprite is one needs a compiler to be compiled and they chose to use the cl compiler from microsoft so we need to initialize an environment for that which is what 
this call is doing. The downside of 2020 is that this path is different. It is no longer under program files x86 and 2019 is also wrong. To show you where it actually is, you need to go under C under programs and then find Microsoft Visual Studio here and there you have the file 2020, right? And from that point, you can look at community, common seven, tools, and then down here you have the vsdevcmd.bat file this file so that path is different and i will put it down in the description as an alternative path if you have 2022 uh, since i have 19 i just copy this line yoink that and paste that in here then you should see this printed into the shell meaning that this shell now is initialized an environment where we can call cl the cl compiler the microsoft compiler and since we are in build we can now actually call this cmake command so copy all of this and paste it and it will not work because it's actually compiling that it cannot find the cl compiler could not find compiler set and environment variable meaning if you remember i set the ninja compiler in my environment variable but i did not set the cl compiler there so you could either go back to the environment variables here and add that to the path or what i do is a simple fix i open the cmake list.txt file in notepad and i actually copy and i will put that in the description as well a path in here telling cmake well the compiler you're looking for is in this path and again i will update both paths to include 2019 and 2022 17 is almost exactly the same it just needs a 17 here right save that and then we could try again and then it starts building once that is finally finished because that takes a long while if you get any troubles at this point put them in the description pretty sure i can help you because it could potentially be that you have min g w and you need to ignore that path min gw is another compiler for c plus plus for anyone that wonders but yeah if you have any problems put them down there next we need to call ninja a sprite yoink that and boom this should then build the final project okay once this is finished linking executable we can go back to our a sprite folder and wonder why there's no executable well you we will find the executable in the build folder under binaries this is where the a sprite executor will be i like to cut this out here and put this up here or even create one on the desktop or something you know and then we can just start it and there you have it i hope you like the video if you have any trouble you can reference to the install md or you could put your problems down in the comments and at this point i want to thank everyone for the support thank you all for watching and see you next time